Hello everyone and welcome to the Church Office Online video tutorial on how to set up your Windows PC for seamless child check-in name tag printing. We're going to walk through step-by-step step everything you need to do to get your child check-in PC all set up and make it easy to print name tags uh, while you're doing your child check-in process. So the first thing that you're going to want to do in getting your PC set up is to install drivers for your Dymo Label Writer 450 uh, name tag printer. Now to do that, you need to go to Dymo's site and download the drivers. Um, we have a blog post on our uh, site at blog.churchofficeonline.com and you can find uh, this step-by-step -step tutorial in a document format that includes links to all the pages that we're going to visit. So, for example, to get to the Dymo Label Writer 450 label printer page, go to our blog and we have a link there, or you can search for it in Google to get to this page. Once you're on the Label Writer 450 page, you'll want to scroll down, get to the support section, click on support. That'll bring up uh, the manuals and product sheets that you can download as well as drivers. And what we're going to want to do is download drivers either for Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit. That depends on the uh, version of operating system that you're running. I've actually already downloaded the drivers, so uh, I have this file, Label Writer Drivers-x86, on my machine. And once that's downloaded, you're going to want to double-click on it and follow the installation instructions. I've already done that on this uh, demonstration PC, so we're not going to go through that process, but you're going to want to go ahead and follow uh, the full installation when you're setting up your PC. Once the drivers are installed, uh, you're basically ready to go to talk to the label writer. And the next thing you're going to want to do is set up a PDF reader. And we want one that's uh, going to run in your browser, so that way the name tags will display in your browser and it'll make for really easy printing. So what we recommend is that you get the Adobe Reader. You can do that by going to Adobe site. And once again, we have a link on our blog uh, in the document-based instructions. Once you get to the Adobe Reader installation site, you want to uncheck the optional offer. That's my recommendation anyway. Um, this optional offer changes, but most of the time I think you just want to bypass that. So uncheck this box. And then click on this yellow Install Now button. That's going to bring up an Adobe Reader installer and you're going to want to go through the instructions there and get this fully installed. Uh, again, on this demo PC, I've already gone through that process, so we're not going to go through it in this video tutorial, but you're going to want to go through the full installation steps for Adobe Reader. Once you have Adobe Reader installed, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, now we can view the name tags in our browser and we have the driver set up for the Dymo Label Writer. The last thing we want to do before we start printing is to set up preferences for the Dymo Label Writer so that way we have uh, standard name tag printing preferences and we don't have to set those every time we want to do a child check-in. So the next thing you're going to want to do is open up Control Panel in Windows. Um, you're actually going to get to this screen first off. And under this Hardware and Sound section, you'll find a link called View Devices and Printers. And that's the section you're going to want to go into. Once you get into the Devices and Printer section, you'll see the Dymo Label Writer 450. If it's kind of grayed out, uh, make sure you plug in the Dymo Label Writer uh, using the USB port on the computer that you're going to be doing child check-in on, and it should um, look very nice, just like this icon. And then you're going to want to right-click on that icon and select Printing Preferences. Inside the Initial Printing Preferences window on the Layout tab, uh, under Orientation, select Landscape. The other option is Portrait, but we want Landscape. And then we want to click the Advanced button. And on the Advanced window, under Paper Size, we want to select 30857 Badge Label. There's a whole bunch of options in here, but that's the only one we want is the 3857 Badge Label. Once you have that selected, click OK to save. Click OK one more time. And that's it. That's a one-time process you have to do to set up pre uh, printing preferences for your Dymo Label Writer 450. And now our preferences are saved. And every time we want to print labels with it, it'll always use um, the preferences that we set. 
So now we're basically ready to go. We can go to our uh, church office online check-in application. I've already put our demonstration account credentials in here and we can log in. Once we log in, we can go to child check-in. We can search for um, children by last four of their phone or by name. You'll also notice that we have instructions here and this is basically what we're going over. If you've already gone through the instructions and you don't want to see them again, you can check this little checkbox and then I'll hide those instructions um, on this computer so you don't have to look at those anymore. Now let's go ahead and search for a child so we can walk all the way through the um, check-in process and we're going to search by last name. So we're going to search for Smith. And you can see here we found a few different um, children. We'll just select Susie right off the bat. We're going to check her into um, kids ministry. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom. Now you'll notice that we have three buttons on the bottom for you to select from. One is check in and print. So this is going to check in and then automatically uh, display the name tags as well as the receipt code and then pop up the print dialog for us. You can check in and download. So it'll actually just download the PDF to your PC if you'd like. Or you can check in without doing any type of name tags whatsoever. So this will just uh, check them in. It'll create attendance records for the children and all that kind of stuff, but it won't print any name tags. For this example, we want to check in and print. So once we click this button, this is going to generate unique receipt codes for the parents as well as the children. And then it's going to open up um, the resulting PDF that includes those name tags and receipt in our browser uh, using the Acrobat Reader plugin. You see we have to accept uh, the terms and conditions just for the first time. Once you accept this once, that'll be the only time you have to accept it. And once that's displayed in our browser, uh, the print dialog will open up for us automatically. Now the only thing that we have to select on here is just one option called Fit under Page Size and Handling. Let me uh, make this a little bit smaller so we can see all of this window. And now we can click on this uh, print button here at the bottom and print our child check-in name tags and that's it. Now if we want to go back we can check in more children so we could search for um, let's just say uh, Caleb and we can find uh, Caleb, um, Sarah Caleb here check in and print again and now this time, because we've already accepted that um, license terms and agreement from Adobe, we'll automatically go into the print dialog for the name tags. And so we can just come right in here without uh, clicking anything, click on fit, click print, and we'll be good to go. And then it'll actually print those out of our uh, label writer right off the bat. So it's nice and seamless. You go directly from the check-in process into the name tag creation. Now this is if you're using Internet Explorer. If you're using Google Chrome, which is another great browser, there's one additional step that you have to do. And that's downloading and installing the Docs PDF PowerPoint Viewer um, that Google uh, creates as a plugin for Chrome. So again, we have a link to this uh, on our blog, or you can search for it in Google. Once you get to this page using the Chrome browser, you'll want to click on this plus free blue button here. This will add the plugin to Chrome. And then once the plugin has been added to Chrome, you'll be presented with some options and you'll want to check the box next to Adobe Acrobat PDF and save. That's it. That's, it's one additional small step for configuring Google Chrome, but once you do that, it'll work just like the process that we work through where we can go through uh, to the check-in site now. We can check children in and we can seamlessly print those name tags uh, without downloading the, print, uh, the PDF or without doing any additional work after the check-in. So hopefully that helped. Uh, we hope that uh, you enjoyed this video tutorial and please uh, email us at support at churchofficeonline.com if you have any questions. Thanks and uh, have a great day.